So today we'll be talking about cause and effect relationships and historical texts, making connections. I can explain the relationship between historical concepts by using specific details from the narrative nonfiction text. Introduction. What is narrative nonfiction? Narrative nonfiction uses the techniques and style of fiction to tell a true story, which means the characters, the plot, and the conflict. Today we are going to read experts from narrative nonfiction texts that tell the true stories of important people in our history. We are going to identify and explain the cause and effect relationship between historical concepts. Historical concepts. Every historical event occurred because of a series of events that happened beforehand. Things that direct directly lead to another event are called causes. Some causes occurred immediately before the event began, while others existed for several years before they caused the event. One cause can lead to multiple effects or cause multiple events. Cause and effects is a tag structure Authors use to make sure you to know, not only know what happens, but why it happens. To identify cause and effect relationships, ask yourself, what happened? Why did it happen? You can also look for cause and effect signal words such as because, so, due to, and as a result. Highlight the signal words. In December of 1955, Rosa Parks was arrested because she broke the bus segregation law. Her arrested sparked the Montgomery bus boycott. As a result of 13 months or protesting, and boycotting, the United States uh, Supreme Court ruled that segregation on public buses is un unconstitutional. However, the roots of the bus boycott began years before Rosa Parks' arrest. Because as a result, So discuss with a partner what happened and why did it happen. Let's see how you did. In December of 1955, Rosa Parks was, this is the effect, arrest, arrested because she broke the bus segregation. This is the cause. She broke the bus segregation law. Her arrest sparked the Montgomery bus boycott. As a result of 13 months of protesting and boycotts, the United States Supreme Court ruled the segregation on public buses is, this is the effect, this is the cause, protesting, okay? So this is the effect that segregation on public buses is unconstitutional. However, the roots of the bus boycott began years before Rosa Parks' arrest. So there were many other reasons and events that contributed to the boycott. This is an example of multiple causes leading to one big effect. So what happened? The effect was Rosa Parks was arrested. U.S. Supreme Court ruled that segregation on public buses is unconstitutional. So those are all the effects. Cause, why did it happen? Because she broke the bus segregation law. 
13 months of protesting and boycott. Underlined cause and effect detail. Camping with President Roosevelt. Most nights, President Theodore Roosevelt set aside time to read. Some of his favorite books were about nature. One evening in the White House, the president finished John Morris' newest book, Our Nation, Our National Parks. The president was fascinated because of the author's description of California's Yosemite National Park. He tried to picture the thousand-foot wall that surrounded Yosemite Valley, all the waterfalls and distant mountain peaks that soared over 10,000 feet into the sky. Murray's nature essay clearly indicated a man with strong opinions about land preservation. Since um, Roosevelt enjoyed lively discussions, he believed it would be exciting to talk with the country's best known expert on conservation and explore Yosemite. But why couldn't he? He was the president of the entire United States, wasn't he? The president picked up his pen he wrote so fast that his uh, spectacles danced to the tip of his nose. Spectacles are his glasses. Land conservation is the process of protecting natural land and returning developed land to its natural state. So highlighting some of the signal words, what happened? The effect was the president was fascinated as he tried to picture Yosemite National Park, he wrote a letter to John Murr. Why did it happen? The president read John Murr's book and description of Yosemite National Park. He thought it would be exciting to have a discussion with Murr about land preservation. So underlining the cause and effect details. Not long after Roosevelt and Murr made their way through the foothills of the Sahara, Nevada, into the Yosemite wilderness, the two men stood in the Mar Mariposa Grove of big trees in front of the grizzly giant, one of the, gi the largest giant sequoia trees in the world. So sequoia, sequoia trees in the world. On either side of Murr and Roosevelt, important men, including George Party, governor of California, posed for the camera. Reporters were right about the grizzly giant and the other trees in this grove, but they wouldn't have much else to write about because the president didn't plan on seeing them anytime soon. The president announced that he was prepared to go to the Yosemite with John Murr, I want to drop politics absolutely for four days. He punched his fist in his hands for emphasis. As a result, everyone roared with disappointment. But there was no arguing with the strong-willed leader of the United States. He waved away the reporters. Finally, the president even ordered his Secret Service men to stay away. So highlighting some signal words of what happened. The effect was the reporters roared with disappointment and they were upset that they would not have anything to write about. The cause, why did it happen? The president announced that he would not be talking to reporters and wanted to drop politics for four days. The president waved his hat and mounted his horse now Mr. Murr and I will pitch camp near Bridalville Fall. As the moon came up, the president took off his shoes and rolled up his pants legs. Walding, wading in the icy cold stream, Roosevelt was as happy as a boy out of school. 
So he was waddling because he was happy as a boy out of school. On their last night, the two men laid on their mattresses of fern and fire, and fire branches, still talking about the waste of natural resources. For once, the president most mostly listened because he respected the mount mountaineers' advice on the importance of preserving land around the entire country. What a magical place, Roosevelt thought, gazing around one last time. He was glad he had came to Yosemite. He felt more alive than ever thanks to his camping trip with John Murr. Once back in Washington, Roosevelt would be able to do some forest good, as the old naturalist would say. In 1906, President Roosevelt signed the American Antiloquist Act that transferred the Yosemite Valley, and the Mariposa Grove back under federal protection and control to keep people from cutting down the sequoia trees. So what happened? The effect, the president was happy and he was glad he went camping. The president signed the American Antiquities to protect Yosemite National Park. What? Why did it happen? Because the president was able to spend time away from the White House with John Murr, and they talked about the waste of natural resources and the importance of preserving land. So we're going to write the number to match the cause and effect. So number one, President Roosevelt read John Murr's book, Our National Parks. So this one, number one, would be matching to this one. President Roosevelt wrote John Murr a letter. Two, President Roosevelt wanted to spend time camping in nature and dropped politics for four days, so he sent reporters and Secret Service away. The effect would be everyone roared with disappointment as President Roosevelt announced that he would go to Yosemite with Murr. Number three, John Murr talked to him about wasting natural resources and the importance of land preservations in the United States. And the effects would be President Roosevelt signed the American Antiquist Act to protect Yosemite Valley and the Mariposa Grove. So how did John Murr's ideas affect President Roosevelt? So, true or false, narrative nonfiction texts are not based on true story. That's false. Historical concepts could be better understood through the use of cause and effect. If you said true, you are correct. Cause and effect is a type of text structure authors use. That is true. The cause is the outcome of something else. That is false. The effect is what happens as a result of cause. That is true. Signal words include because, so, do, to, and as a result. That's true. Read this quote from the text. For once the president mostly listened because he respected the mountaineer, mountaineer's advice on the importance of preserving land around the entire country. Which part of the sentence represents the call? He respected the mountaineers' advice on the importance of preserving land.